So what I wanted to talk um, today is one of the things that we as feature are seeing um, in, in, the, in the last years as a, as a trend is how fintechs are leveraging their, capabil their capabilities on top of FinTech. And this is something that is a, it is a big trend and it's something that, that, that we as feature as are uh, very proud of and, 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 and it's mostly our biggest contribution bringing new uh, users, new people, new companies, New, new vendors to the community. So, a little bit about me. Uh, I've been in FinTech since 2009. Um, I've been in the FinTech and open source community since 2014. Um, I've been um, contributing and, and involved in the MIFOS initiative before FinTech started, before FinTech was FinTech. And, and I was part of the, the MIFOS team, the MIFOS initiative team that, that uh, expanded the reach through, the, through South America. I was first ambassador of the MIFOS initiative, and then I was um, director of, of business de the development in the MIFOS initiative. After, after MIFOS, I briefly joined WellUp, and, and then I, with my business partner, Robert Jacquet, we founded Fitter and, and, and because we saw the opportunity for fintechs and other financial institutions that needed the, the needed a, a global and, and, a, and a, an experienced partner to implement, develop, and, 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 and leverage on top of, of, of FinTech. Uh, so, and also I'm a proud father of uh, 11 months old baby Liam, which is in the picture over there. <laughs> so why, why open source for fintechs? That, that's a very, that's the first question. So when, when I am, uh, I'm approached by a fintech that is looking for a solution as a core banking solution like Fineract or any other core banking solution, there are tons of core banking solutions. And, and we, as fit in Fitter, we categorize the the, 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 the vendors of, big, of banking solutions in three. So we have the, the big ones, the global ones that are multiple country, that are multinational, that are generating revenues in the orders of the billion dollars per year or 500,000, 500, 500, uh, 500 millions of dollars per year up to a billion dollars per year. Those are the big guys, the IBM, the SAP, the Timenos, the no, uh, you, you know the names. Those are the, the series A. Then you have uh, an, another layer, which are the, the regional ones. That there are companies that are in the hundreds, the tens of to hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue that are working in, in, in the region. Like they, they, they cover uh, a big country like Nigeria, and, 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 and Africa, and they cover Europe, they cover US, they cover Latin America, but they are not global. They, they, they are regional ones because they, they are very good at the local uh, regulations and they, and they work in, in five to three to five different countries in the in region. Those are the, the, the middle ones. And then you have the, the, the base, the, 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 the small ones that are basically working on a single country. The, in, in every country that we, we work and we operate, there's always uh, a, a vendor that has more than 60 or 70, uh, in some case, 80% of the market of, the, of all financial institutions, small financial institutions. The big banks, the big financial institutions work usually with the, the big vendors. But the rest of the financial institutions they work with these uh, regional or, or, or local vendors. And, 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 and Finerac today, it's, it's playing the game in the first and second tier. We are competing basically with the local vendors, but we are regional, we are global. So we have the capability of deliver a global product that is being used 
in in multiple countries, but and 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 and, and today we are playing with little ones, with the 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 the, the little vendors, and and those are the ones that we compete. But this is a start. So for a fintech, it makes a lot of sense to join an open source community. First, if you're a fintech, it, usually you're a startup. If you're a startup, you, you want to build something that is new. You want to build something that is uh, different. You want to retain your IP, your intellectual property, because if you're a startup, your valuation is going to be uh, uh, much bigger if you have intellectual property that if you only have um, uh, uh, resources or you have only have clients. So if you want to, 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 to have a, a startup, if you want to, to create something new, it doesn't make sense to create something new on top of what everybody else is using. So as, as I told, as, I, as we saw, Finerai competes with the, the local vendors mostly and the regional vendors uh, usually. Uh, but but and, and, and if you want to build something, if you want to uh, offer to your clients a different uh, uh, uses, a different UX, a different UI, a different experience uh, that your competitors are usually, uh, usually are, are local competitors, uh, it doesn't make sense to use the same system that your competitors are using because first you're going to start losing and, and, and investing your small resources that you have buying a technology that's it's already available as an open source uh, contribution. Then you are not going to be able to, to, to build on top of the, of the proprietary software. Usually if you build some proprietary software, if you license some proprietary software, it, it makes uh, it is expensive, and you are one of the clients that is going to be uh, uh, using the system, and you're not going to be uh, able to to, um, to to contribute and to to use that 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 system and and the features that you're building are uh, owned by by the proprietary software vendor. So also, it makes a lot of sense if you're a fintech to join the the Finera community because it 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 makes um it makes uh it, it makes sense because you don't have recurring costs you have uh, 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 no license fees you don't have to pay any vendor for for the for the right to use the software because again it's open source. And, and one of the things that for me it's more valuable, and, and I always tell the, the 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 our prospects and clients why you should be uh, joining an open source community. It's because of the community. Uh, we in Finerac are a community, and 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 I always we always as a human beings and 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 and, and as a community of 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 developers and and, and business leaders in Finerac, a community outperforms individuals. Whether it's a it's a it's a company or whether it's a software project, at the end of the day, uh, in in the long run or the short run, I hope. The community of builders, the, the community that builds Finerac, it's going to be bigger and stronger than any other proprietary software vendor that can be around. Because we are hundreds and we are going to be thousands of contributors that we are working in, in, the, in, the, in the global, in the world, that are going to contribute and we are going to make this project even better and better every day. So that is a it's unbeatable. So you are going to join a project that is led by a community that is not going to stop and that is going to grow and it's going to create a standard way of doing uh, financial institutions and financial services provider. So what are the, the fintechs that we are seeing using Finerac uh, in, 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 in our experience? So, Fintech, it's a you know fintech, it's a it's a weird, it's a it's a new kind of new uh, uh, term terminology. It's been around for many years, but it's been used and used in the last five six years ago, last six to ten years. It's been very very used the the the, the fintech terminology. 
So what we are seeing in, in, in these days are mostly lending fintechs uh, that are um, typically online originators. So the lending industry, it's a, it's a retail industry. Basically, uh, if you if you see the the past, the the, the last, the, the 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 past, the history that that we that we have, most banks, most financial institutions were uh, having a lot of branches. They have different branches. They have um, uh, a lot of uh, capillary capillarity uh, on top, uh, and 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 a lot of uh, access to the people. In, 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 in a retail way. So uh, the financial lending space, it's about selling money and, and they sell money as a retail. And what happened with retail? We know e-commerce and, and, and e-commerce killed retail and it's killing retail and the e-commerce is growing, growing, growing and more with the pandemic. So the same is going to happen and it's happening to the, uh, the, to the lending space. So we are seeing more and more uh, online uh, retails that are selling money, which is lending or fintech in, in this space. And these companies are, are the ones that are most interested in, in using FINRA. And, and they will be more and more in the future. We are seeing some of them implementing and we have experience in, 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 many, in, in the four continents of, of fintechs and lending companies that are uh, using Finerac uh, as the core banking because the benefits of Finerac that I'm going to show later. But this is one of the biggest and hottest spaces, the lending fintechs that are using Finerac and mostly online originators that, that they, they don't have any branch. They are an, an e-commerce and the product that they sells is money. Then we are seeing neobanks. And neo banks are, are are that are neo banks basically are digital banks are banks that don't have any branch, are banks that are fully digital. So they they need to build their their presence uh, on top of a, a of a standard and on top of robust platform. And they are and some of them are choosing Finera. Some of them are choosing vendors. But again, the same problem of proprietary software they will face and and. And we are seeing some of these neo banks uh, migrating from uh, from the vendor that they have chosen to Finerac because they realize the potential and the and the benefits of an open source project. Also, we are seeing e-wallets. E-wallets, uh, on the contrary of of neo banks, a uh, neo banks it, it has all the all the capabilities of a fully fledged bank. They have accounts. They have loans. You can open an account, you can have loans, you can have credit cards, debit cards, uh, insurances, whatever, investments, all, all of the things that you have in a, re, in a regular bank, the neo banks are able and, and capable to give it to you uh, because of regulation and because of, of, of the business offer. And there, and some of them are using Finerac as their core banking application. Also, we have e-wallets. Uh, from e-wallets differ from new banks that the e-wallets are just accounts and, and, and a credit or payment. And basically, they're an, an, an account linked to a debit card. And, 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 and with that link, they allow to pay and, and use that debit card uh, either digitally or in a brick and mortar uh, merchant. So th these e-wallets these e are also using Finerac as their core banking application where they can store the accounts, they can use uh, all the FINRA capabilities to, to create accounts, to track transactions, to, to, to generate uh, new accounts, the KYC, et cetera, et cetera. Also, we are seeing some peer-to-peer -peer lenders. Peer-to-peer -peer lenders, it was like a, a big movement that now it's kind of fading off because of the complexities and regulation, complexities on, 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 the, on, the, on how a peer-to-peer -peer lender work. So, uh, I usually, so basically a peer-to-peer, -peer, it, it's, it's a company that, that needs to, in, in, it's a fintech and, and also it's a startup that it's struggling in two directions. They need to get uh, lenders and they need to get borrowers. And usually uh, the financial institutions has a few big lenders 
people that that give them money to lend and and they have a lot of borrowers and the the struggle for these companies usually is not on the borrower side because it's it's fairly easy at some levels uh, to get people to lend money uh, if you offer money everybody will say i want money just give me money i, I need money i always need money I, I can do anything you want with money i want with money that that but the difficult part is to choose who to lend. Okay, it's everybody will accept the money, but not everybody is going to repay the money. But the peer-to-peer -peer lenders have the, the two two difficulties. They need to get a, a, basically uh, uh, one or two uh, lenders for each borrower. So they need to focus on building the two communities at once, which is very, very, very complicated and and. We haven't seen a lot of these peer-to-peer uh, -peer lenders succeed, but mo many of them are very interested on in building their solution on top of Finerac because of the of the capabilities. The, uh, on the on the Finerac platform, they can they can implement whatever they want. They can implement the both parts. They can they they, they surely can modulate and 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 and, and replicate and, and track the life cycle of the loan of the asset. From start to begin, from start to end, they are going to do that and on top of Finerac. And from the borrower, they can track how much money the borrower and the and the investor, how much money they put, the track interest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, um, uh, and, and 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 that's something that it's very, very, uh, very good for the peer-to-peer -peer lending. <clears throat> and then we have payments and collecting companies. Uh, what I call payments and collecting companies are are like uh, they are not like e-wallets, but they are like more uh, agent networks. You know, um, uh, companies that create a network of different agents where you can go to that physical agent. Usually, it's a kiosk. Usually, it's a small merchant with a device whether it's a POS or an Android device with an app inside, they, we see uh, a few of them using Finerac as the core application to replicate and to, and to, and to, uh, and to modulate their business, the business case on top of Finerac. It's not exactly what Finerac was meant for, but it can be used. And if you are a, a little bit clever, with a, a few tricks and uh, a with few customizations and a lot of configurations, you can use Finerac as an excellent platform for um, for a payment network, for a, an agent network. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing the chat. There's no questions, so I'm moving on. I don't know if if it, if you are reading correctly the the slides. If everything is okay. Uh, I can't hear you, but I can read whatever you put on the chat. If nothing, I will move on. So why why fintechs in Finerac? <clears throat> and that's that's uh, that's another big question. Uh, and and I think that that fintechs are are coming to Finerac because for many reasons. But if I want to put like the, 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 f the top five reasons, these are the top five reasons. This, the first number, it's, it's my number. It's not it's something that I don't have. Um, it's, it's based on my experience in Finerac. Uh, and and <clears throat> we know the actual users that we know. We know how many people is contributing, but we don't know what we don't know. So if we can assume that there is one Finerac user per one that we know, and and for that Finerac user that we know, there is another Finerac user that we don't know. The number of the community of Finerac users in this community is around one thousand, and I, I, I believe that this one thousand because and 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 I'm always knowing uh, people that is using Mifos and Finerac that they never contributed anything, that they never go it went to the went to the source code to the community and we didn't we didn't know that they were using Finerac before and they they are running a company on top of Finerac or what used to be Mifos. So 
I think that today the community of Finerag, it's, it's around 1,000 financial institutions in 40 countries, which put us as a big, in, in the level of the big vendors. You know, it's on, on, on reach and, 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 and platform users, put us in the level of the, of the big vendors, the worldwide vendors. Not in, 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 in maybe in, in capabilities, not in revenue, whatever, but in number of people using and financial institutions using the, the platform, we are at that level. The second thing that people really enjoy, really love about Finerag is the open and the, the REST APIs. This is, this is key. This is, this is the most important feature that we have because fintechs and financial institutions are in a different game now. They, they used to be, financial institutions used to be big balls of money. They will, they, 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 they used to be places where people uh, put their money and, and, they, and they put the money to, uh, to, to collect, to, to save and to, to protect. I have a question. 100, 1,000 financial institutions. The users are, are companies that are running their operations on top of Finera. That's, that's the number, 1,000. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so, um, and, 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 and now the game has changed. The game is connected. Now, your company, it's value if you have connections, connections to payment network, connections to agents, connections to credit cards, debit cards. Uh, um, so if you, have a, if you run a digital company, the more connections that you have, the more valuable is your company, the more value you give to your company, to your clients. So the API functionality, the REST API functionality on, that, that runs and that, that this architecture of Pinarac it's it's a it's a it's a it's a killer app. It's the best thing that we have to compete and to and to be uh, used for other and more and more fintechs. The, the capability the, the feature is full web, which is something that now it's 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 very it's kind of uh, it's it's something that is it's not a differentiator. But remember we compete with the local vendors and, and local vendors are still using 90s and 80s technology the banks are using older technology they, they're still using uh, uh, mainframes and they're still using cobol as their as their software uh, and development so but but financial institutions fintechs and small financial institutions that that they are the ones that are uh, uh, um, using Finerag more and more and more, they, they see a lot of value being able to just open a, a web browser and, and use the system everywhere, uh, in their home, wherever they want. They don't need to invest in, in servers. They don't need to invest in infrastructure. Just a computer with a web browser, that's enough. And that's very important for our clients. That, that is going to, in, that is resonating at kind of the same level to it the cloud ready approach internet is cloud ready and 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 i'm i'm yet surprised that people ask me when when i'm i'm pitching for to a new client to a new a potential client and they ask me if 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 this system it's it's been able to it's capable to be deployed on on the on the on the cloud and my question is always we don't have clients that are outside the cloud so everybody is running this software on the cloud, and that is very powerful and that's very important, especially for fintechs that wants to be nimble, that wants they, they don't need to have a uh, huge infrastructure, they, they don't want to have servers, they don't want to rely with, with hardware, it's just paying for the use that they have, and that it's a, a, that it's a very good, um, uh, that's a good advantage for fintechs using Finera. And lastly, the features, uh, and and I want to I want to uh, focus on Finerac One X, uh, and not Finerac CN. Finerac One X is uh, has uh, an incredible amount of feature, and it's growing. Uh, in the panel that we have previously, we were discussing on, on that that Finerac it's a it's a it's a different animal from other 
uh, open source project because this is an uh, an consume kind of consumer product. This is a a a, a, a product that it's being used by end users and not only by technical people like other projects of open source like i don't know kubernetes or linux or whatever they are mostly used by tech people that is building uh solutions using that uh, tool Finerac, it's a it's a tool that it's it has an end it's been used by end users directly so that's a different uh, conversation and we are one of the few projects around the world that is succeeding doing that. And, 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 and I think that one of the things that are, uh, are defining why fintechs are uh, so happy and are adopting Finerac so fast is because of the features, the tons of features that Finerac has. So the... Speaking of which, one of the, 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 the biggest uh, and the most uh, important features I think that, that Finerac has, it has hundreds, uh, but uh, what are most important and, and, the, and the fintechs are really, really interested, it's the REST API architecture that we discussed previously, the, the easy to configure financial Product. So if you are an end user, you're not a technical person. You're just a financial expert, uh, and and you're not uh, you're not a coder. You're not a programmer. It's really it's really easy uh, using the Mifos UI to configure new products, to create new products within a range of, of presets products. You have a, a, a variety of things that you can do with the with the Finerac uh, and 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 with Mifos. For instance, the loan, the asset products, the account products, the KYC, those are things that, that you can do on top of the, the on top of Pinterest that you don't need to be a programmer, you don't need to be an expert to, to be able to use this, this this platform. And that is something that is very unique and it's 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 empowering and it's leveraging the uses, the usage of fintechs, the uses of, of Finerac by fintech. And also that we are cloud ready and agnostic of which cloud. So uh, Finera can be implemented on any open cloud, uh, maybe also on a private cloud. And, and you can implement if you want on premise. I don't see why you would do that, but uh, uh, if you want to do it, you can do it. So uh, we've seen implementations and live implementations of Finera in, in Google Cloud, in Amazon Cloud, in, 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 in Microsoft Cloud. We didn't have as, as a company experience doing that on Red Hat Cloud, but we, for sure we are going to see that in the, next, in the, in the, in the near future. So it, it's, it's really, we are agnostic of in which uh, infrastructure you want to implement Finrad. It, it runs on everyone and, and it runs very well. And it does a lot of the, of the work that you need if you're a FinTech. And, and, and the rest that you need to build, uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's possible to build because Finrag it's a product of the community. <coughs> Sorry, and, 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 the, and the community uh, wants everybody to contribute. So the, the barriers to contribute code, to contribute things into Finrag are low. So uh, hence, if you want to use this software, uh, it's it's fairly easy to 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 learn it and to being able to to be a productive uh, developer on top of Finerac because there is fairly good documentation. There is it's easy and and the and the code is it's very well done. So you can uh, in 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 short time you are going to be productive uh, running the system and running the code and and being able to. Uh, uh, to to generate features and, and more functionalities either to your company or the community, hopefully. So uh, this is my my talk. I I now open to questions. Uh, if you want to ask, you can chat, and 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 I will answer your questions. Um, Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. 
Uh, we are very excited uh, on this on this uh, track uh, and and this and, and this event of ApacheCon being the first uh, ApacheCon that has a Finra track. It's it's been a tremendous pleasure and and we are very happy to be here. So I I I'll be here if you want to um, ask me any question about why fintechs are using Finneract or any other things that you want. If not, um, again, the next session is going to start in a few minutes. You can uh, check in the sessions panel. So any question? Do you have any training on Finnerate? We do have. Uh, we do train. Uh, th there's a, on the community side, in the Mifos page, there's a lot of videos and there's a lot of uh, material and, 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 and documentation. But we as Fitter, we contribute to the, we have a, a, a training for developers advanced training program and, and, and basic training program. Uh, here is my email, so you can send me an email and I can send you more information about the training. Where would I find groups using Finerac? The, the, the best place to go is the Finerac uh, dev list. There, there you have a lot of features. You, there's a, 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 a few, there's a Slack channel. There's a, another chat application that Ed maybe can help us answer that. Um, but the, the, the main place that you can go and, and ask for groups, for, for communities, you see Finerac is the dev group, dev list at, at finerac.apache.org. Do fintechs raise any, any concerns about open source when pitching them, security, competition? They, they always ask about security, but that is something that, that, that it's, it's always the same thing with open source. People, it's, I don't know why people is concerned about security in open source, whether the most insecure systems are the proprietary software, but I don't know. It's just uh, they created the, the 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 rumor that open source is is uh, it's insecure. So, um, but that that's something that it's it's easily uh, explained and people understand it. I think that that the major concern that they have is about support, and 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 when they say, okay, but who is going to help me when when something happens, and and. And, and the the big pitch for them and the bigger uh, the bigger uh, the, the best uh, thing that we can say to them is when you join a Finerac, when you join an open source community, you are not locked by a vendor. You are not uh, you, you can choose whatever you want from the community. There are plenty of vendors that can uh, help you with Finerac. In, in different countries, you have local vendors, regional vendors, global vendors. But the, the good thing about joining a community like Finerac is that um, you don't, you are not uh, locking with a single vendor, and that's the, the biggest concern and the biggest uh, the biggest uh, attribution of, of being part of a community. <clears throat> so, um, do you have concerns about contributing upstream because it removes competitive advantage? How do you address that? Sometimes they do, and, and, and so what we in Fitter, what we try to do is to encourage our all of our clients to to contribute back the the source of of what they develop. Some of them want, some of them doesn't, and and if I told them. Uh, one of the biggest 
things of, of, of building their application, building the company on top of Finerac is uh, retaining the IP, the proprietary. Uh, uh, of course, they are not going to be willing to call, contribute back. But <clears throat> having people using the software, having people using the system, it's powerful enough and it's good enough for them to, to be able to contribute back and, and to make the community a bigger, a bigger community. And, and, and as we grow with companies, as we grow with users, we are going to uh, grow with, uh, with contributions. That, that's something that for me, it's clear. And it's something that, that, that it's, 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 uh, it's part of, of why for us it's very important to, to get back to the contributions. <clears throat> Does FinTech support? I mean, I guess that it's a question on Patrick. Uh, does Finerac support all types of currency, including cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin? Um, well, Finerac supports all types of currencies. Uh, it's a multi-currency system. And, and hello, can you see me? I, I have problems seeing my video. I don't know if you see me. Yes, okay. So Finerac supports all currencies, um, and and of course you can support and you can um, uh, create a Bitcoin, uh, a BTC currency, and and it's going to support it. What it doesn't have, it's a it's a wallet, it's a it's a, um, a crypto wallet, and I think that this is something that we should uh in, include in the community and in the in the project having the the finerac be able to support uh cryptocurrencies uh and 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 have like a a, a built-in uh crypto wallet it's something that is going to be interesting to have within the community in the and i think that is going to be available in the few years to come Okay, more questions? So um, we are running out of time. Um, thank you for joining this, uh, this, this session, this, this conversation, and we can join the next one. Please click on sessions there and go to the next session of Apache Finra. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye.